Uh, I'll start from where Pele, when Minister Pele was appointed. He was appointed, I think it was around 2018. And then he called all the investigators. He called them and asked them, how far are you with the case? They told him, and then he dismissed all of them. And then he appointed Kenel Butelezi and Warandu Fisumakubu. And those two, they worked very well on the case. And then on, on the following year, in 2019 February, they called me and said, we are done with the investigation. And we have spoken to advocate uh, Nzuke. He is going to take the, the case to court. According to the evidence that is on the docket, he said he's going to make an arrest. Soon after that, Nzuge was suspended. Why Nzuge was suspended? Because he wanted to arrest the right, the right suspect. Every time on this case, when a person is go, want, want to do something that is right, some of the people who are in the high position, they do something wrong to the person. Then Captain Aku phone Kenneth Tele said, what is going on here? I was chased away from court. Then Tele is asking, who, who gave him instruction? Then Captain Aku said, it's his advocate, Baloi. Kenneth Tele went to advocate Baloi and asked him, Baloi, you gave instruction to, to Captain Aku. Then advocate Baloi said, it is Kenneth Kininda. Kenneth Kininda said, someone was going to make a, a confession. Okay, and then after that, we had the story of uh, these five suspects, that five suspects have been arrested. And we don't buy a story of this, those five suspects. You know, I've been working in the police service for 17 years, and my duty is to register docket on case. I read statements every day. You see on a docket where there's a hitman, when a hitman comes into your house, when you find three people in the house, he doesn't shoot the one person and then, and then leave the other witnesses. He shoot all those people. I, I've never heard a story like this, where, where a hitman shoot one person with one bullet and leave him there. This person that there is a mastermind, if he's a mastermind, he's paid. He can't shoot, shoot him with one bullet and leave the witnesses. And when, when I check on the system, all these five suspects are not charged. And another thing, these witnesses, some of the witnesses, some of the people who are inside the house, in towards the same two men, I know them. They are my friends, and we're also friends. And he told me the, the, the story that they're all in, s s telling us. He said, the person, Kebalo, he said, it is Kenel Kininda. Kenel Kininda said, someone was going to make a, a confession. Okay, and then after that, we had the story of uh, these five suspects, that five suspects have been arrested. And we don't buy a store of this, those five suspects. You know, I've been working in the police service for 17 years, and my duty is to register docket on case. I read statements every day. You see, on a docket where there's a hitman, when a hitman comes into your house, when you find three people in the house, he doesn't shoot the one person and then, and then leave the other witnesses. He shoot all those people. I, I've never heard a story like this. Where, where a hitman shoot one person with one bullet and leave him there. This person that there is a mastermind, if he's a mastermind, he's paid. He can't shoot, shoot him with one bullet and leave the witnesses. And when, when I've been saying this, I, I've been saying this, I, I've been saying this. Spiso Mayewa, no, 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 no. The people that are arrested, uh, accused number one to five, they are not the right people that should have been arrested for this case. The state and the other influential people, they are trying to defeat the ends of justice by pretending as if they are bringing justice. You know what I'm saying? They are arresting wrong people. And we have seen that, uh, especially with accused number three, oh, the gun, he was found with a nine millimeter. Did you take fingerprint? No. Is the gun linked to the Mayweather case? No. I would have said that you can see, man. Um, so why do we have accused number three? So Sfiso says no. These people, they are not the right people that should have arrested. They should have been arrested. And number two, he makes a very important point to say, people that went into that house, the story of intruders. You know what I'm saying? Intruders. 
it's not real because he has been in the police service registering case for over was it for over a decade if i'm not mistaken and he says i know the profile of a hitman the people that they are saying entered into that house does not fit the a profile of a hitman and i'm sitting here and i'm like who's fiso huh so you mean you don't agree with what the, the state is saying he's like yes bongan yes i don't agree with them i'm like so if his fiso does not believe and agree with them that means this and we also don't agree with the state that means the state they are on their own because i don't too i too i don't believe that accused number one up to five are the right people who should be arrested i believe that the people who should be arrested are the people that were inside that house but before we dive into this one are you interested to know more about this then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you do comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of these nice things, good people? You need to do it because doing it, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible so definitely good people the power here is in your hands please exercise that power in favor of this video you need to like the video you know as you exercise your power you need to watch this video till the end as you exercise your power you need to comment as you exercise your power it's gonna help the, al the algorithm it's gonna help this video to say to force the algorithm to say hey promote this video it meets all the requirements so that you can promote this video you know what i'm saying to more people you know what i'm saying we are the tribe here you know what i'm saying so as a tribe i i think uh as a leader of the tribe i know i am satisfied with the behavior of uh my i'm speaking like a king uh my my people <laughs> I am satisfied with the behavior of the citizens of my citizens in this <laughs> as the leader you know i speak as a leader you know what i'm saying <laughs> nevertheless <laughs> let's continue i'm joking let's continue guys love you guys uh, i love you it uh, seems right uh and to give us why uh church reality check uh church reality check ricky uh talking about content creators that have shown me some love uh i forgot some uh, noni m podcast seaborn and um i keep forgetting other people please guys forgive me for forgetting oh look forgetting your name i'm sorry it's not intentional i'm trying to remember all the content creators that i've seen in my comment section please if you are a content creator please show me in the comment section below you know if i need to promote your channel too i will do that exactly that but yeah let's go back i'll do that for free by the way uh, let's go back to the look to this story name so also you know what i've been in the saps i know when a hitman gets into your house Uti, usually two things happened if a hitman um speaking about accused number one up to five he's like okay we were told that these are hitmen and you say he says okay as a person that uh Uti, my responsibility is to register cases you know so you it comes in the form of a docket I register it and put it in the system so he's like nah there's something that does not make sense here i've dealt with it i've worked with it for over a decade the people that are arrested here does not fit a profile of a hitman and i was like okay so why do you say the profile of these people does not fit a profile of a hitman by the way i'm sorry i'm the one that phrased the statement wrong he's saying if you are listening to the story of intruders does not fit a profile of a hitman he's not necessarily saying the the people that are arrested does not fit the profile of a hitman but he's saying the story of intruders that went into that house does not fit a, a profile of a hitman and then he goes and then i was like okay Sfiso, i get you but wait a minute so i i want to believe you but i cannot just believe you because you are Sfiso Meiwa. Uh, and i sympathize with you and i'm with you you need to give me some some, some uh, substantial evidence so i can understand and lay my belief upon and then he says bongan let me show you this he says bongan 
when a hitman gets into your house this is what usually happen he is going to shoot a person straight and he's not gonna miss look he gets there he does his job and then he leaves and then in most cases they eliminate everybody they don't want to leave witnesses you know what i'm saying ot in most cases they don't want to leave witnesses and i was like okay okay uh so and then i'm like okay so now i understand what you are saying and i agree with you you know and i i'm in favor of you i support you i sympathize with you you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay so now i believe you and i said to so you know what i'm joking by the way <laughs> we never met i wish i can meet the, the family though i even the family of accused number one to five i wish i can meet them because i honestly don't believe they have anything to do with this case i i, I don't believe it Nah, you know what i'm saying by the way so i'm on the mayewa side just so that maybe you get it you get it you are getting it confused i'm on the mayewa family side forget about anything else so you know what i'm saying if you want to hate me for that it's your business i don't care i don't give a damn not even a swimming pool i'm on the mayewa side full stop so i'm like okay mayewa uh, i i'm saying you know what sends me I've been telling them that nah man something is fishy about the narrative that uh, when accused number three was arrested he, he <coughs> sorry guys he he get they get there and accused number three uh, we are arresting you yes boss uh where look where is your house there is my house he gets there like they are painting they were painting a narrative of a dumb guy and i'm like nah man i'm looking at accused number three accused number three is not dumb i'm going somewhere with this and then uh the intruder see the intruders got there longer tala pushed them like a scrum you know what i'm saying in the rugby that's what the public figure told us somebody says i i i i, 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 I <laughs> the public figure is my crush i'm like ah and i'm like i, I almost went to the toilet and so you know what i'm saying because ha ha public figure being my being my my crush ah uh, uh, you know who's my crush uh, my crush is uh, there's a lady who sing, who's singing a song um yabona wena sami that's my crush there i i i i public figure ay, 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 ay. she was like oh i think we're singing my zwai yeah i think we're singing my zwai She's like, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Thumbs up, celebrities. I think, yeah, um, because a daughter. That would have been my crush. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, let's leave matters of the heart. <laughs> See, <laughs> leave matters of the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, okay, let me go back to the point. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, um, now we are told Guti, uh, Ulongo pushed him like a scrum. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, and then he ran away. It paints a picture of a dumb intruder, a dumb hitman. Then he, the family stood up and beat them. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And these people are not shooting them. They're not doing anything. It's paint a picture of a dumb hitman. At the same time, you want to tell us that these are hitmen. At the same time, you want to want us to believe that these hitmen are dumb. Hey, hitmen are intelligent hitmen they stick to the rules hitmen are people that they stay they know what they are before hitmen gets into your house they already know who is in there they do their investigation i saw them with my own naked eyes at that time i was still living as zonke that is me now agreeing with fiso they those guys arrived around seven o'clock uh, and they stayed there they pretended like they were doing uh, whatever that people were doing next to that rank they arrived at seven o'clock only to, to 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 eliminate that taxi box that taxi box around 2 p.m being that seven o'clock it shows that these people have got mind they think that they are intelligent although we don't agree with their job this description but these people they think they've got intelligence so now the state wants us to believe that there's nonsense that they want us to believe the kumalos want us to believe this nah i don't believe it you know what i'm saying so i agree with fiso to to, to 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 say nah man the people that are arrested here and what the 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 the, 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 the kumalos are telling us that's nonsense that thing does not make sense you know what i'm saying and then i also saw you know what i'm saying a story where these guys arrived around 11 
a.m. The, 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 there's this taxi boss name where I used to stay. He, whenever he gets there, he closes the street so nobody passes there. So the only way they can get him, they arrived early, around 11 a.m. I saw him, ne? he was driving uh, around 5 to 6. Ne? He was driving. He had about five hitmen in the car. Look, I think it's about six or seven because it was two gold fives. Uh, all of them packed. You know what I'm saying? Hitmen's all over. Uh, those are security guards for him. So that look, these guys, they got there. They pretended like they were drinking the traditional beer. And uh, you know what they were wearing? Like, you know, as those people, you know, who's drinking traditional beer. And they, on top of those ja jackets or whatever, they hid it. Uh, 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 look, AK 47s there. That guy, he gets there, he closes the street. Obviously, when he closed the street, they were inside. This is what happened. Uh, the moment he feel, the moment he steps out of the car, that guy who was drinking this traditional beer, uh, on, look inside that jacket. They removed the jacket and then you know uh, they released the fire. Ah, ah, eighteen bullet, eighteen bullet. I'm proving to you that hitmen they think, hitmen have intelligence. Hitmen they stick to the game. The ones that the Kumalos are, are telling us about, uh, I agree with Sfiso. No, that's a fiction. That's not a real story. Real story is that there was no intruder in the house. So Sfiso says, no, we don't believe this bullshit. You don't believe this nonsense. And I'm like, yes, Mayiwa, I am with you there. These people are innocent. Not this nonsense that we are being told. Oh, 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 see, ah, guys, no, 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 no. I mean, guys, listen to the the look. I, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna give you a plug. Uh, I think there are about three or two channels that I know from KZN that sometimes fix fix fixture or fixture the story of a hitman. One, there's one channel that you need to search on YouTube. It's called Ayan Ayan Namsoli Foundation. They did interview hitmen there. Uh, on SAPC one, I know there was a program right there. Forget about that one. I don't know if you can cover that, if you can recover, or you, if they uploaded that on YouTube, I don't know. There's another one that, I think it transform, 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 transformative life, something around that. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's hosted mostly by Menzisto, uh, who was also fix, featured in a Skim GP podcast as well. So remember that Skim GP is an ex-offender. That guy as well, he talks about Hitman. The profiling of a hitman, according to the story given by the Kumalos, and the profile of a hitman that we all know, the, the ones that the Kumalos are giving us versus what we all know does not make sense. Something that does, it's something that does not colorate there. So I'm saying, Sfiso says, nah, the hitmen that went into that house are a fiction. We know for a fact. In, what we know is that somebody from the house called and say, Senzo Meiwa has been mistakenly shot. You know what I'm saying? So what irritates us the most is that they are telling us lie. Had they admitted that this was a mistake from the beginning, I think we would have been on their side to plea that at least they get a lighter sentence. You know what I'm saying? Or at least they, 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 they get a warning. Ah, oh, they told us a lie, the Kumalos. They lied from the beginning. And be because they lied, I... Mm -mm, if, if it means that in 2025 we're still pushing them, we're still putting the dark cloud on top of them, we will do it until the justice is received. You know what I'm saying? Because the Mayor family, they, they need to see them going down to prison. And I'm saying too, the same thing. Hey, Kumalos, including the mother, she must go down. Dumelo, down. Wearing an orange uniform. Um, Togozisi. Down wearing an orange uniform, and um, long way down wearing an orange uniform. Makuman down wearing an orange uniform. Kelly Kuman down wearing an uh, orange uniform. Esandi Kuman down wearing an orange uniform. Tap Singh down wearing an, an orange uniform. Uh, Mapir down wearing an orange uniform. I'm not sure about the the police. Because they always have a way of backing each other. It is as if it's always difficult to get a police arrested. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would have wished that some of them, they go down with the Kumalos wearing that orange uniform. 
I don't know about the uncle. Mm, because so far, we don't know exactly what the uncle did. You know what I'm saying? But should it be covered that the uncle is an ex-police? He must go down. He must wear an orange uniform. I am an advocate that, or I support the idea that they must wear the orange uniform. In case you don't know, because I have people who, oh look, who are not from South Africa. I know I've got people from Malaysia, uh, UK, uh, Canada, United States, Dubai. Uh, uh, um, uh, what else? What, where, where was this one? Uh, Namibia. Oh, Namibia, guys. You know what I'm saying? Israel. Israel uh, also here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let me explain the orange uniform. The orange uniform is worn by people who are convicted, who are serving a sentence. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so if you are serving a sentence in prison in South Africa, you wear an orange uniform. So when I say, I believe that they need to wear the orange uniform. I am simply saying, I believe that they need to be found guilty for defeating the ends of justice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and uh, Kelly Kumalo will release his uh, her songs in prison. We'll, we'll download it from prison. We'll be happy to download those songs from prison. But for now, we just wish that she wear an orange uniform.